to, I think, week three or four. I think this is week three or four, right? Maybe it's five. Another weekly tier list where I go over the most recent episodes and the cutoff is Monday, right? Sunday or Monday. So the most recent Osan Newbie Adventure doesn't count. Today is July 30th, 7, 10 p.m. We're going to go over what I enjoyed the most from Peak 2, Dookie. First up. Hmm. Let's talk about the Elusive Samurai. What do y'all think about the Elusive Samurai right now? In terms of performance, it's dog shit. In terms of the episode itself, something about the dog hunting competition was fucked. It was kind of disgusting. I understand it's a different culture in different times, but like, bro, what the fuck? It was cool to introduce the new arrow guy. The way that his eye was protruding out his eye socket and trying to, you know, look at everything. Yeah, it, an antagonist has shown up. The overall competition, it didn't really get to the high point. I think that we're really going to get into it next episode, but I think I just put it in good. I have a feeling that we're going to be dropping this show by next week, though. If not, we already dropped it due to the sheer performance because many people in my channel just does not care about Elusive Samurai. Next anime, Osan Newbie Adventurer. This should go in straight to the fucking top. And this is not the most recent one that we posted yesterday with its Dragon Balls. This is the episode where he unlocked, you know, his passive skill. I love the power of fantasy. A lot of people are upset that it's going against the common themes of the show. And what is that? That even if you're a washed up 30 year old, that you can still chase your dreams if you just work hard. And yeah, he did have that innate skill, right? That got him this crazy powerful ability. But still, I enjoyed it regardless. Next, Failure Frame. I think I'd put it at good. Failure Frame, we're kind of just start setting up, right? We're, what are we doing right now? We're in a new place and we're trying to figure out how to get our slime stronger by having a specific mat. We went into a dungeon and cleared. We have the elf girl who was, you know, under disguise and we're kind of teaming up now. I don't think there was anything really too special. Just, eh. Was it mid? Maybe it was mid, bro. The more I think about it, if we judge everything together, like, it was still kind of fun to see. I did enjoy the lore. I don't want to put it in mid because I actually did enjoy the world building. They're actually trying to expand the world. They're trying to explain the demon, you know, Lord's essence and how it ties into the yellow eyes, the gold eyes, and the goddess had that shit too. They introduced, like, the greatest uh, hu hero of all time as well as, like, a hero slayer, right? Humanity's greatest and, like, a hero slayer. They're doing a lot to kind of hype shit up. I put it on good. I don't think it was mid. Next up, what do we have? We have Days of My Stepsister. And Days of My Stepsister, I think that I'll put it in good tier as well. I think that the slow boring drama is decent. I'm just personally not the audience for it. I can still appreciate it, but in talking about if there's anything spicy that happens, nothing really spicy happened. And it's funny because the viewership is low because nothing spicy happened. People, and if you go to the, if you go to Days of My Stepsister analytics, every time it has the lowest watch time because people only go click on the video to see like just one person, sorry, just one section where the sister said something like, you know, do you want to, do you want to buy my body or something? But it's still all right. I put it in, I put it in good. Let's talk about nobody remembers me. I think that I can put it in great here. So far, I thought it was kind of just like average and slightly above average. But the most recent episode, the animations were on fucking points. And you know what? Second thinking again. Vanessa, the succubus, the way that the cameraman positioned us from behind her and she was moving her thighs, based on that alone, I put it on peak. Based on that, holy shit, that was fucking peak fan service. I love that shit. That was so funny. And the battles were great. And it was just overall just a hype battle episode with little to no shitty animation. And it got us a little bit more lore on what's going on, right? World reincarnation. There's a system that's like overriding memories and stuff like that. So I think it was overall pretty decent episode. I'm going to put it on peak. Next up. Let's talk about Nokotan. Is Nokotan washed? Is Nokotan over? Is the hype of Nokotan that got carried by the opening in the trailers gone? 
In terms of YouTube reaction viewership, yes. In terms of the actual anime, what they're doing right now, if you haven't seen the other Nokutan video where I called it mid, I, I really thought about it and I read a comment and said, the first couple episodes may have been the wacky, crazy, brain rot anime we expected, but now the whole formula is introducing characters and Koshitan's reactions to the bizarre moments without really doing much with Nokotan. And everyone wanted the bizarreness of Nokotan scenes, but now it's getting kind of, that's kind of benched and you're introducing a wide roster of characters. And I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to introduce the cast, but by doing so, I think it's kind of lost the initial traction and people don't really give a fuck that much about Koshitan's part. They just kind of want to see how crazy Nokotan is and everyone's reaction to based on that. But now that the foundation has been set with the introduction of the uh, student council and the other girls, maybe there's more opportunity to do even more crazy shit. So uh, we're going to finish Nokotan. I'm not going to drop it. It's still fun to watch. It's just, if there is an overrated anime, it's definitely Nokotan, simply due to the sheer amount of hype and marketing surrounding the Brain Rot anime. I think that, I put it here. I put it in good. Next up. Oshinoko. Oshinoko is going straight to peak for me. Oshinoko was fucking fantastic. And the most recent Oshinoko episode is reminding me of why I started watching this from the beginning. The murder mystery plot. Akane making the connections in her head. Bro, that revelation that she had that the children could be fucking like the, the, the you know, I might have kids that and like it might be Aqua. Dude, that was so sick. The overall direction, I can only say that it's cinema, unironically. It was so good, bro. And Gotanda's laptop, bunch of folders. There's some names showing up. Very important name there. But Oshinoko was a fantastic fucking episode. I loved it. Next up. What do we have? Um, These five... Unironically, like, let's see. Yeah. These five are the best performing. Wait, what the fuck is this Perry anime drop? Is Perry anime is not dropping drop? What the fuck? Okay, let's do Perry first. I can't tell if Perry's mid or good. I genuinely can't figure out if Perry anime is mid or good. Because it's so stupid. And the whole premise is in being dumb and not aware of what's going on. But the combination of Lindbergh Girl and Noor, they're both retarded. Like, I'm applying logic to this anime and I should not be. You thought that Nokotan is the anime that you're supposed to shut your brain off to watch? It was Perry anime. It was Perry anime. The fact that he couldn't, like, what was the most bullshit thing? Well, not the most bullshit thing, but maybe one of the funniest things that happened was when Noor said, Hey, Put this orc, you know, down, but make it a painless death, right? Make it very peaceful. Give a merciful death. And what does Lin do? It immediately sets it on fucking fire. And we even forgot to cut, take the ear off, off the orc, to, you know, the goblin to give a proof. The fact that he needed like a wind boost to run fast, even though he literally can move at the fucking speed of light when that, during that one fucking interaction against the spear guy, like, bro, bro, it's so stupid, but... I don't think the show is stupid. It's just that's what the characters are on. That's what the story is. It's him pairing his own fucking brain cell. It was still pretty hype animation. It was still a pretty hype fight. I put it at the bottom of good, bro. It's just fucking stupid, but god damn, bro. God damn, bro. All right. We are now at the most anticipated series all five of this i think these are the greats of our channel all five of these i have utmost confidence every day i look forward to wednesday because i know roche today is coming i know that oshinoko is not gonna clutch all the fucking time i know it's not but roche today will i know isekai shikaku will i know losing heroines tower of god with story will it's just fucking amazing so first up let's talk about too many losing heroines a show that i was pissed off at but I'm starting to love more and more as I continue watching it. This shit was fucking peak, bro. This shit was fucking peak, bro. My God. My God. I thought that we're not going to have any stakes and we're just going to be slice of life. But Komari stepping up to the plate? Confessing at the end? What? Dude, they keep subverting my expectations. 
every time I think something is gonna happen, something else happens. I'm like, holy shit, it's actually fucking happening, bro. Too Many Losing Heroines is a rom-com that I'm glad that I checked out. And I think that if you're not watching it, you should definitely check out. Next up, Isekai Shikaku. Peak. Peak. And now that I'm putting all this shit in peak, I might have to push some episodes down. You know what? I, I have to put Nobody Remembers You down here. It's, it's got to be relative to each other. Bro, Isekai Shikaku? This shit? Bro, when the daughter of the demon lord showed up and he donutted Sensei, but Sensei got up in the most hype soundtrack plays and he rizzes her, that was actually peak. That segment actually gave me goosebumps. And then, at the end, what happened? We get a whole new fucking plot. This is getting serious now. It's not just a comedy show. It's getting serious. The otherworlders that got summoned, they're the evil people. The demon lord has been replaced by that guy, that isekai hero that killed. The plot is getting so fucking good, bro. I love this twist. It's cooking. It's fucking cooking, dude. Next up, Wistoria had no episode. <laughs> Wait, we can't rank Wistoria. <laughs> Uh, the most recent episode, I think that I put it in like great tier, right? But like, it didn't, it didn't air. It, it didn't fucking air. It, it's a hiatus right now, so we're waiting. Tower of God? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like... It might be top of great or tier. Because like... I wanted a little bit more from Bomb versus Love, but that was very fast. The stuff with Horyang was the most hype. It was. Wang Nan's character development was fantastic near the end. Mm, maybe it can peek in here. Maybe it can. Maybe it's great. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna put it in top of great for now. The have you ever seen the devil's line is so fucking cold. Can a single moment carry an anime above a tier? Yes, it can. I'll put this shit here for now. Dude, have you ever seen a devil? The devil that resides in my right arm moment with Horyang? I never expected that from Horyang. I thought he was just some random side character that didn't really matter, but holy shit, dude. All right. Next up, what do we have? We have Wistoria that was obviously, you know, not airing. And we have finally Roshtere. Roshtere is just always going to be peak. Roshtere is just always gonna be fucking peak, bro. It's always gonna be fucking peak. Roshtere is just the whole... More of like the, um... What happened in the first half? It was... Sachan, it was Sakun, it was Masachika helping out Arya after she suffered for a bit. Anakoji-esque, right? Looking at Horikita Susan and letting her suffer and then clutching her out. And then... The confession scene? Even though it wasn't the confession? That was pretty much fucking amazing. That's right, we joined the student council. Slime? There is no slime, it didn't fucking air. Where's slime right now? Where's slime? Did I not upload an image of slime here? Where is slime right now? Where did it go? The fuck? Well, if slime is not here, let's just call Wistoria slime. Let's just call Wistoria slime for now. I would put slime here. It was a fantastic episode. It was very fun. It was very fun. Benny Harum, he, Hakuro is the dad, you know, stuff like that. Remember, Wistoria is slime right now, okay? Wistoria is slime. Yeah, the romance episode was actually pretty fun. It was, it was actually pretty fun. And I think that this is my preference of the most recent episodes that I really enjoyed, right? These are all right. These are all right. It's just nothing special. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's all right. I think that these are fantastic. They were pretty good. And these had really fucking solid moments that I just coomed at, man. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this week's tier list. And if you want to get mad that a random stranger online is giving opinions that goes against your own preferences, think hard for a moment on why my opinion a random person triggers you. It's because you look up to me. You think that I'm your fucking daddy. Fuck you. I'll see you next week.